guys. Oh, don't look at the mess. Okay, you can look at my treadmill instead. I've just had an amazing idea and I really want to do it. I want to look. Oh, I want to look. I know. I want to make the golden egg. I want to make a replica of the golden egg from Harry Potter. Now, I've just spent ages on the internet trying to find a whole like circle of it i haven't got the golden egg replica all right um so i've been looking on the internet trying to find the, the design around the whole egg and it was just doing made and then i realized <laughs> of this one you know the one the easter one from marks and spencer it's really cool really nice chocolate too yeah i have that so we're gonna use this and my glasses are steaming up look i'm sweating thinking about doing this because you we all know i wing these diys i have this so ignore the mess with the treadmill yeah we're going to use this we're going to use clay i'm not going to have it so up because it's a little easter egg plastic thing i'd saved them and now i know why i saved them because i obviously knew i was going to think of this idea i wanted to make a golden egg but i've never got round to it and i suddenly thought just now we're going to we're going to do this we're going to do this i suppose i best stop talking and we best just go and get on and roll some clay out <laughs> Right guys, I've got my clay, so the first thing we need to do is get a good chunk out and roll us some out flat so that we can wrap it around this thing. Obviously the top with there's like an owl head and some what look like the six like leaf things so yes that's be the neck god I've just made a mark in it with my fingernail for the love of Merlin right I'm trying to work quick guys because clay um this is air drying clay I've got a bowl of water with me so I can keep it as moist as I possibly can but obviously yeah at the same time it is a bit worrying so I've got to etch all the markings in on the egg yet, so let's make these leaves and six of them. about working with clay and you can roll it up and start again that seems to be a bit better right so I need to try and get these markings in this owl so it kind of has an eyebrow going on okay and then it does kind of dint in where his little eyes are Hopefully you can see this properly guys because I'm not concentrating on the camera at all and I am sorry Let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm just making some little Indentations down here and we're going to stick some little eyeballs in there For our little owl and then it does have a bit of a nose as well. So Let's just define the nose Okay, let's make some little eyeballs and see how this is looking it will look different once it's painted. Please understand this. Those eyes are way too big. Okay, there's one eye. And there is the other eye. So, I am literally just gonna go off camera and titrate with this owl a bit. And then I'm gonna stick it on those leaves. 
So there we have the owl and the little leafy things or feathers, whatever they're meant to be. So oh, our golden egg is looking sort of okay. This is really low, hang on, there we go. Right, I can close that, I don't need that. Next, I've knocked an eyeball off his eye, I am so sorry. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is etch in the markings. Oh my days, wish me luck. Here we have it, it doesn't look much at the minute guys, we all know though once it's painted it's going to look probably even more crap. No I'm joking, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. So now I need to leave this for however many days this is going to take to dry and then we can yeah get in and I'll probably paint all the black details first like in every single crevice I have made with this thing. I think that's what we're doing next and then paint it gold and look it looks like the golden egg you you see that and you know what it is so i've done the job right yeah i'll see you when it's dry right guys we are in my conservatory because we're going to spray paint um i do have the doors wide open i've got paper laid out we're going to spray paint it it's completely dry the paper's blowing stop it then it look it looks like it's going to rain outside a little bit as well so i don't want to spray paint this outside because i'm going to have to leave it outside and then i'll just stare at a soaking golden wet egg so what i've done in the meantime once it had dried i went through all the grooves again with my little pointy stick thing my dotting tool that's what it's called uh just to sort of bring them out a little bit more and then i gave it a sand as well i gave it a sand um so yeah it's done so we need to spray paint it gold and i'm prolonging this because i don't i've never used spray paint no i'm lying i'm lying i've used white spray paint once on a skelegro bottle i did not in a video was it yes it was in a video what is wrong with me it was in a video anywho we're gonna spray paint this gold this is what i've got oh we didn't do it where's the they normally have a little ball in don't they well that ruined that there we go right i'm gonna test it that is not gold that's not gold that's silver What's going on? That is definitely silver. It says gold. I'm really confused right now. Um, it's got why I don't understand. I can't. What you have ruined this. You have ruined this. I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to bear with me, guys. Gonna have to wait for Matt's game. He's gonna have to take me to the shop. I thought this says gold. It says gold. Read it, Hogwarts Keeper of Keys and Grounds, that's me. Okay, I've just come out of Dunelm and um, I've treated myself to some flowers for the downstairs toilet too. Anywho, I've bought some gold spray paint and I got ID'd. I got ID'd, I'm 34, yes, to past 25, oh bless him. It says gold, bright gold. It's got pictures of gold things and it's got a gold lid. You can't get more gold than that, so... That needs to be gold, not silver. 
Moment of bloody truth, guys. Oh, it's gold. Yes. Oh. Right, I will go and spray this. And this is beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to spray this and then... Uh, oh, yes. Be back with you in a minute. Um, Excuse me. This... Look, I told you. Once it's painted, it will look different. I am absolutely loving this. Right. I'm going to check I've caught everything. It was so easy to just spray on, look. I mean... Keep it at a bit of a distance. Just open to God I haven't caught any of my rug in here or... I don't think I have. I think we're all right. Oh, this looks nice. Obviously, I've got the bottom to spray. Oh, I'm happy. I am happy. I'll be with you when this thing is fully... It's raining. Can you wear it? I'll be with you when it's finished gold and we'll have, we'll have a proper look. Apparently, it's quick drying as well, which is absolutely awesome. Right guys, we are in back in the utility. We've got a dry golden egg. I love this. I really, really love this. It's turned out really, really well. Oh, I am obsessed. So what we need to do now, guys, is I've got a very dirty bowl thing here. Ignore the dirt. I'm gonna put some water in it. Mix a bit of black paint. I just want it really watery. And then all I'm gonna do is run the black watered really watered down black acrylic paint in all these greaves that i've made with like this the pattern that's on the golden egg and on the owl and all the little feathers that are coming off in why is this not focusing don't be rude and focus right it's not focusing but yeah that's what i need to do now and then i do have some tissue so that obviously because i'm going to catch this i'm just going to wipe it off because it's watered down it's going to be fine, it's going to do this. Let's mix some really watered down paint. right it is done it's so cool so yeah it was just a matter of getting that black watered down paint acrylic paint brushed it on i literally just brushed over the whole egg but i did a piece at a time and just dabbed with tissue and this is how it's turned out and it's also aged that gold a bit as well which is awesome um but yeah what i'm gonna do now guys is i'm gonna seal it with oh with some of this mixed with water because this is also used for glazing as you will so yeah i'm going to see if it with that it says to mix it with water just water it down just to make sure really you're going to see some fancy photos of it and then i'll be back with you to talk to you at the end We've moved into the conservatory guys because everybody is at home and Jamie has a friend over and Matt's watching telly and obviously I don't want to get copyright so I've moved to a quiet area but yeah there we have our golden egg. I, I love it, I absolutely love it. I think it's turned out really fantastic if I do say so myself. I mean I'm not I don't mean it in a big-headed way, but I literally didn't think I could do it. I mean, you saw the beginning of the video, I was sweating. But um, I think I've winged another DIY. I know you've just seen photos of it, but I honestly don't think I've done a bad job. The bit that I was worried about the most was actually getting the markings on the egg right. Um, I think they're a little bit different to the egg, but um, to the replica. But I think we all know what this is when we look at it, don't we? So I don't think I've done a massively bad job. If you ever made the golden egg, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know.
And um, if you have made one, send me photos on a social media linked in the description of this video or on my socials. I'd love to see yours. Um, did you enjoy making it? Did you do it any differently? Let me know. I love to know people's techniques when they're getting crafty. If you enjoyed this video though, guys, please give it a massive thumbs up for me because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye, Pugs Puppets.